Welcome to another day with Jesus. A daily inspirational and encouraging podcast from the word of God brought by Pastor Preeti. As you listen to this word, may you be equipped for the day ahead. Greetings in Jesus name. Welcome to another day with Jesus. I hope that today we can receive fresh wisdom from the Lord. And I pray that each and every one of us will be hungry and we will be receptive and we will be intentional to ask the Lord to manifest his wisdom to us. The more that we interact with this wisdom of God, the more this wisdom of God will begin to manifest through our lives. It will begin to change our choices and our decisions. It is going to change our destiny. It is going to change every aspect of our life. it is necessary that we learn to value the wisdom of god sometimes we take the advice the counsel that god gives us for granted even the advice that comes through men of god or the advice that would come through scripture sometimes we think that yeah this is not a big deal and yet when we begin to value it as the wisdom that comes from god then it is going to create an impact in everything that we put our hands into the bible says in proverbs chapter 5 verse 1 and 2 my son pay attention to my wisdom listen clearly to my wise counsel then you will show discernment and your lips will express what you've learned this is an invitation that the lord is giving us to attend and make sure that we pay extra care to attend to the wisdom that god is giving us when we pay attention to listen and especially when we pay attention to the ones that god is using to bring his wisdom to us it could be our physical parents our spiritual parents the leaders the mentors the guides that the lord has placed in our lives they bring wisdom on god's behalf they are the ones that are actively pouring wisdom into our lives now how much attention do we give to such wisdom how much care do we give to be intentional it says listen carefully to my wise counsel so there is a kind of listening that is not careful there is a kind of listening that is not intentional there is a kind of listening where we are not diligent in our listening but today the lord is saying you need to be careful in your listening be careful in listening to my wise counsel so today if you can do everything possible to uh, just look for wisdom and wise counsel all around you just look for them and write it down and pay extra attention to notice every time the lord is releasing wisdom and wise counsel for you it says then your life in your choices you are going to show discernment now we all want to discernment we all want to make choices that are going to bring glory to god we all want to do things that are going to be fruitful none of us would be interested in a business venture which is about to be a big loss none of us would want to invest into a stock market that is going to crash none of us would want to invest into a relationship that is not going to work out and that is why discernment is a essential thing for every child of god so my prayer is that today as you attend to wisdom as you give extra care to get wise counsel you will get the discernment that the lord has promised and consequently the bible says your lips will now begin to express what you have learned so this discernment it is not just for self sufficiency or just for you to enjoy making the right choices and make doing the right things it is not just so that you can Uh, have prosperity and you can have blessings and you can have the best health no this is to go beyond yourself now 
your lips will begin to express the results of what you have learned through your discernment we see this in the life of king solomon who was the wisest man on the earth he had a lot of success in terms of relationships in terms of finances in terms of the wealth and the fame that he had the kingdom that he led he had a lot of success and yet he turned around with the wisdom to express what he had learned and he said there is nothing meaningful under the sun when we try to enjoy life without god there is absolutely nothing that is meaningful now he had discerned the true value of wealth he had discerned the true value of fame and all these relationships that he was in and he had come down to this conclusion that there is absolutely nothing meaningful outside of god and today my prayer is that your discernment will not die with you your discernment will now begin to be expressed in your lips when you talk when you give counsel when you express your opinion there will be a overflow of discernment there will be an overflow of the wisdom and the wise counsel that you have received from the lord sometimes it's very easy to give out advice it's very easy to give out opinions but there is an opinion that comes because you have walked that path because you have lived a life with intentional following and intentional pursuit after the wisdom and the wise counsel of god in your life and when those words are spoken out when those sentences those advice those opinions are given it is going to create life it is going to be something that people can now see god at work through your words let me read the scripture one more time the lord is saying proverbs chapter 5 verse 1 and 2 my son pay attention to my wisdom listen carefully to my counsel then you will show discernment and your lips will express what you have learned let's pray together daddy we ask that today wherever we are in life we will be able to identify the wisdom and the wise counsel that you have in store for us and as a result of that let there be great discernment in every choice and every step that we need to make and also we pray that we will also be able to reproduce this discernment through our lips through the words that we speak and through the teachings that we give to other people the opinions the advice that we give to other people let it be an expression of the wisdom and the wise counsel that we have received from you thank you for hearing our prayer in jesus name we pray amen hope this word has blessed you for any queries or help connect with us at pastorpreeji.com may god's presence lead you throughout the day